Hello everyone. <coughs> we are here for our last game of round two. Group E XTC 2021. France against Serbia. So before to uh, go on everything else, uh, you can bet for your favorite player, list, country or whatever uh, by going to the upper side of the Twitch chat and uh, you can bet some uh, credits that you have uh, on the on the left corner left uh, down corner of uh, of your chat so if you want you can go and uh, bet some credits okay so <coughs> Uh, France did have a hard time facing Serbia. Uh, there is currently 5 to 1 for Serbia. So, Siv right here is not playing for uh, anything but uh, MOV. I mean, MOV and uh, individual wins. Which is important because of. Uh, I mean, because it could end up mattering in the end. Uh, but anyway, France won't win uh, due to Steve's victory, so this is all for uh, for those uh, possible needs in the future. So, <coughs> uh, we'll start the list. So, on the left you have Steve, French player, playing Jedi Knights, uh, Jedi Knights that can um, use a force after they fully execute a maneuver and they can barrel roll or boost. This is an action. And they've got all calibrated laser targeting which uh, which is while you perform a primary attack if the defender is in the bullseye you add one eye result. And this is uh, this ship in this particular build times five. So you've got five of them, red, yellow, green, blue and pink. Uh, then on the on the right you've got Filip, the uh, Serbian streamer, uh, with four Epsilon Squadron cadets, blue, green, yellow and red that you can see on the right corner. Uh, these ships have Three agility, three hull, one shield, and two attack dice. I mean, that's regular tie with one more shield, and the target lock action. There, they are all uh, initiative one. Then you've got Commander Marus. Uh, what a friendly ship at range zero to two performs a primary attack if it has one or more blank results. That ship must gain one strain to reroll one blank result if able. So this is not a may as Gideon, Gideon's ability would be. This is a must. You have to do it. I hope we will be seeing both player reminding of this ability. Uh, so Malares is initiative 5. Uh, you've got the red target lock and the red coordinate might end up mattering. You've got, you're on 7 five hull and two shields. And then you have Major Von Reg, the highest initiative Thai BA interceptor. Um, so the ship's ability is quite interesting because it allows you to perform two actions each turn, but you have to strain or deplete yourself while uh, to to, exec to execute a uh, target lock or barrel roll action and another condition is to fully execute your maneuver. And of course you have to not be depleted or strained. And then Von Reg's ability reads during the system phase you may choose one enemy ship in your bullseye. That ship gains a deplete or a strain token of your choice. So this is a common... Uh, I mean this is an, an ability that you forget like very often 
see if Philip remembers of it. And thank you, Paintstrip, for the follow. Thank you very much. So first turn, you saw the ties go to the right. They went left this time. Uh, Steve is kind of separating the forces, which is not a bad idea against some swarm. Also, although it's only four ships, still it is a swarm. And this is a swarm of three agility ships, which means uh, they don't die often on a bad roll because they can triple blank, but that's that's kind of rare. Okay, so Malarus is stopping here. What is Von Reg doing? One bank, two left. You can, yeah. At this point, do not use your uh, ship's ability. I mean, probably doing a one hard next turn, but anyway, don't want to be. Uh, Calling the fact that you will be using a blue maneuver, although the type BA has a pretty good blue dial. You've got all the ones except the one straight. You've got the two and the two banks, two straight and two banks, and you've got three and four straight, which is a very good uh, blue dial. Okay, so Steve is probably aiming to separate Philip's forces. Philip is probably willing to have everything on one ship each turn, which means Steve has to uh, be clever for the first engagement, as he may lose uh, some forces and not take anything from it. I kind of don't know where, which target priority you choose when you are Steve in this situation. I believe pretty much that is in your bullseye. But is it better to aim at Malarus, Vonreg, or like aim at the ties so that you reduce attack arcs for future rounds? You've got 25 for each tie. Uh, tie uh, FO, sorry. Uh, and you've got 45 for Malarus, 55 for Von Reg. So Von Reg is the most expensive piece, followed by Malarus and of course the ties. And on Steve's side, a everyone is one point below 40. So the uh, calculations are quite simple for Philip. As, lo as long as you know the price for one, you know the price for everything. So Jedi's with calibrated laser targeting are defending quite well as they didn't lose their agility. Uh, agility that they can lose by using the uh, Delta 7B title. But anyway, they've got two attack dice, but with the one that you add uh, in the bullseye, uh, you may see some quite interesting uh, shenanigans. Uh, but still, you've got only one force, so you have to think clever, cleverly about your uh, reposition or uh, bullseye attack, because you may want to keep focus for defense uh, and be using the force for the... Uh, um, calibrated laser targeting shot or the contrary obviously but anyway you you have to think about this so that there is no problem so Philip here going to the cloud rolling a crit which is kinda lucky because doesn't mean anything but as you can see there is a slight piece of blue tie uh, between the knobs that is on the cloud, so I believe blue is going through the cloud on the next turn, which is quite interesting for Steve. If uh, he sees this, uh, he might take advantage of this on the next turn. 
Uh, Mother of Swarms made me love swarms again. <laughs> That's a pretty aesthetic uh, swarm, I believe. I mean, this is... You've got an ace, you've got a like semi-swarm. It's... It's pretty pretty, actually. I would agree, I would agree. Though uh, I loved Swarm before Malorus myself, but... Okay, so... Reposition, action... The action will probably always be a double reposition. One force for a barrel or a boost and the true action for another like the one you didn't do which is like the barrel or the boost uh, or you may as well see barrel or boost using the force and a focus after that or just a focus and no using of the force that is pretty um, you can do pretty much what you want with Delta uh, Aether sprites as long as you uh, don't bump <coughs> on each other I believe this will not be so dramatic right now, but you uh, are in range of green tie, I believe, which could be important. So Malarus is taking a stress and will coordinate who do we want to be. Okay, so blue is having a focus. I don't know why you give blue a focus, actually. I would have given uh, green an evade. Probably. I don't think blue is in range of everything. And due to the uh, position of the gas cloud as it is currently, I would say it would have been an obstructed shot anyway. So... I'm not sure blue needed anything, but green might need an evade for this shot, this particular shot, yeah. So this is a... Uh, is It is obstructed? Is it obstructed, sorry? So anyway, it's 2v... Okay, so it seems like it's 4, so no obstruction. And this will be only 2 after spending the force, if he does spend the force. It doesn't. Oh, and this is the reason why I was calling an evade on green and not a focus on blue, actually. But he will... That was obstructed? I don't know, wait. How did it transform that? Was it obstructed after all? If it was obstructed, then it would have been one more agility. Eh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Um, one hit from red into the red uh, Aether Sprite. Has to reroll the blank as it is in range of Malarus. Will get a blank another time and Jedi is about to spend the force to avoid taking any damage on this shot so the problem now is so yellow isn't in range blue is obstructed onto the Jedi which means it's 3 plus 1 plus another one for the uh, obstruction it's going to be safe as it has the blank to evade from the cloud and now you've got the shot that could end up mattering you can shoot at red that it has a focus or at yellow that has nothing but yellow is obstructed he has chosen uh, red i believe green was in range of malarus which means reroll with a strain and you've got two with red jedi so no damage at all. Two strain for uh, the uh, first order player, but could end up not mattering at all as uh, 
uh, as Thai FOs have a pretty solid blue uh, dial with two straight, three straight, two bank and two hard. So that is not the worst of all. In this situation, you might see blue doing, uh, no, sorry, um, uh, green do a two straight or two bank. Uh, you might see red do a two bank to the right or the left. Uh, might as well see him do a two hard, although I don't see why two hard would be good, but you never know. And uh, yeah, so basically no problem to uh, clear the string in this situation. Now Steve has four Jedi's lined up to joust the uh, the ties. You've got one that is on the upper corner of the map, which is kind of worrying because he's now really far of the um, engagement zone. And now Von Reg is facing the debris, so it means no, not the. Yeah, the debris clown. Sorry, so it means he he has to go uh, right or left, but he won't be uh, going straight, obviously, <laughs> avoiding to take some like strain or deplete. So we will see. Alright, alright, so both player prepare next turn. Just a bit less than sixty minutes left for this match. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the week of Streaming. I mean, if you are a uh, French uh, player or French fan, you might be a bit disappointed. But anyway, some surprise happen often. So this was a really, uh, really interesting surprise. Uh, thank you for the follow as well. Just heard that. Don't know why it's not updating though. Um, seems like we are close to being ready on the flip side. So anyway, you can have uh, streams from Olonet Serbia, uh, which is uh, Philip doing uh, streams on YouTube by going to uh, the channel that that's named Olonet Serbia can have the uh, the rounds between uh, France and uh, Serbia as well as the previous round the previous round uh, games so they they're speaking Serbian which is nothing that I can uh, understand but anyway if you speak Serbian might as well go and check that out okay so the blue tie FO is quite a problem for Philip, it seems, as it, this is the only dial not chosen yet. <coughs> and then you've got green for Steve that has just been set up, so we might go for uh, what I believe is round uh, four. Round one, round two, round three, round four. Yeah, it might be round four. So green doing a two bank, clearing the strain as expected. Blue will go through the cloud once again. This time he will take a strain. If you uh, does Malarus work? So um, red is going two bank to the right. So Malarus said. Says sorry. 
Yeah, you, you might be strained, but you have to strain yourself. Uh, never, nevertheless, so if blue shoots and gets a blank, he will have to um, take a strain anyway. Okay, so red Jedi zooming in and dodging uh, one arc with a uh, fine tune controls boost. Is is it fine tune control? Fine tune controls, yeah. And then taking a focus. Blue is coming back to the fight, though he is a bit far right now. But you could expect a bank boost to the left and a focus to catch um, Bullseye with uh, Blue Tie Fighter that is already strained, which is quite a good thing for Steve. Yellow is doing a one bank. I would have expected the two bank as now you can't boost um, you can't boost bank because it would have been really good to bank boost to the left and face Malarus. So with pink you could uh, you could stay where you are, but this is no good position or maybe it is uh, I don't know and this this is the reason why this is an interesting matchup because half of Philip's list is a swarm which means half I mean the whole list of Steve is halfway through an ace list right because you've got four ships of Philip initiative one against five ships initiative three but then you've got an initiative 5, which is far from being an ace, obviously, but that's still someone moving after, taking actions after you are. Uh, and then you've got Valrang, the true ace of the list, at initiative 6, which is quite interesting. Alright, so green. One banks, and we'll line up the bullseye with a fine tune control bank boost to the right. And then he will take a focus. Okay, so bullseyes all lined up. Now this is Malarus and Von Ring moving. Yeah, you would have you would have definitely got the um, um, the bullseye on on Malarus. Okay, so Malarus is coordinating again. She's coordinating a barrel roll for Von Reg, which means she has to stay to take a stress. Hope he remembers it. There you go. Perfect. Oh, sorry for the mic. Uh, then Von Reg does a one hard. Oh, that's a scary position to be. Why, why did he choose to barrel? Okay, so he depleted himself to take a target lock. I'm not quite sure this was the right play to barrel. Uh, I'm not sure barrel rolling one rig was such a good idea. Okay, so what? So he boosted oh man i'm not understanding the the plan right here so he's shooting at red i believe because he just target locked him thank you for the follow uh, eledar thank you very much uh so that's two on red which means he can spend the focus not to take anything or just take a shield on red which is the first Damage of the match. First blood. There you go. <clears throat> I did not understand the play right here. So this is Malarus onto yellow, which means two blanks, has to reroll one, for a blank, gets strained as well. Uh, so no damage, obviously. Oh, yellow is touching. 
throw two dice on two Malarus. With two hits, if you spend the focus, you might as well as you are not taking any other shot. Malarus. Oh, but I mean... Okay, so you had two dice. Yeah, two plus one minus one for the strain. Strain has to go off. This will be two shields on Malarus. Malarus, Malarus, there you go. Um, three dice. He d will he be spending the focus for three against Von Rake? Really good shot. Range one bullseye, CLT. Okay, so he will definitely spend. Oh man, that is awful. Von Rake just evading perfectly. I've learned the power of coordinate I5. Yeah, for sure. I mean, with the droids, you can coordinate in the beginning of engagement, which is amazing. But Okay, so Von Reg evading everything here is awful for Steve, as he spent the focus for that. Uh, so, I'm not sure who is shooting who. I mean, obviously it's pink, but to who? I don't know. Uh, strain was removed from uh, Malarus, so this is good. Who do we want to be shooting at? I believe blue is the correct choice here. Let's see what Steve chooses. It seems like it's blue. Yeah, it is. So two dice. It is range three. So I believe uh, this is the reason why you still have three dice. Ooh, that is a good shot. You can add the blank and transform it to a hit by spending the focus, which means it's three onto blue, and blue did not have an action as he uh, flew uh, through the, the cloud. So it means it takes all three of them. And this is a panic pilot, I believe. Yep, this is a panic pilot. Because the last one was a crit, so blue is taking all of them, which means he lives on one and took a panic pilot, which means blue is in a real dangerous situation. You might want to kill him, or... Yeah, okay, he's trying to kill him. Two dice shot. Or one. Unlikely to hit. But you never know. There is no focus, no evade. And there will be two evades, so nothing. Blue will live to fight another day. Alright, did, did Von Rick spend the lock? I believe he didn't. I was pretty sure Sorry, I was pretty sure he spent, but... Oh, did, did, did he move it, or... Oh yeah, so he, he, he spent it, it seems. So, yeah, okay. There you go, there you go. So now Philip has to make some decisions. So green did not spend the focus. Yeah, you can... I mean, you maybe you are not seeing it, but this is behind the chassis. There is the little token. Uh, this is an eye, so you cannot re-roll it with Malarus. This is going to green, I believe. Uh, which is just what you need. One evade. So blue, shot. Now is yellow. Yellow has to... Uh, nothing. So this is... To nothing. It was there. I don't know what... I was, I was looking at yellow. But anyway, yellow is not in arc. You have every Jedi in arc. This, this will go on to red. Clever choice, as you could, you could end up taking half of the Jedi. And you will not. Three evades. Three natural evades.
I don't know to okay so red again two hits again okay that's that is that is a good roll two good rolls in a row range four uh four <laughs> range four <laughs> range three obviously uh and here is half of red going down with a really bad roll so red is living on one so now philip is ahead by seven points two on two uh, pink i believe is it range 2 of Malarus? It is not, so no reroll. Just one. And one evade, so it is safe. And I believe this is the last shot from this round, so... Recovering force. Getting green tokens away, and let's go for another round. Okay, so Vonreg is in a pretty rough position. I, I I'm not sure I understand the move he just made even even now. So now the question is is um Steve willing to go hard on um Malarus? You already uh, did take two shields from her. You have um, a yellow Aether Sprite pointed directly at, at her. You have pink as well, that is not far from doing the same thing. But then you've got the swarm, and, and then this, this is not a bad position for Steve, because you've got the swarm facing a real problem, which is, do we uh, go on to red and blue that are coming from the upper corner. Do we go on green or pink that are coming from the left corner? Do we try and take yellow to protect Malarus and you go like 3k or or anything? This, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the red moves. 4k and two sloops. There you go. 4k and two sloops uh, for uh, tight FOs. What do you do with Vonreg Von then? Do you one hard to the left? This could be... Uh, this could put you in trouble, maybe? I mean, you, you, you're you sitting on 4 health. Has nothing happened to you the round before? But uh, could end up... I mean, this this is an ace that doesn't like to be shot, so... You cannot fully use the power of the ship if you are uh, uh, if you are worried of being shot. Although Bonreg is moving last, but you could end up being blocked, which is not good for uh, for this for this ship. So probably a very interesting turn. Blue surviving the uh, disengagement is quite a good news for uh, Philip, as he may uh, uh, be the the ideal blocker. Uh, more uh, more uh, with the fact that uh, he is double stressed, so there won't be any action for the little guy here. So yeah, maybe the ideal blocker. The question is, do who do you want to be blocking? Do you want to block the blue eyes of Sprite? Do you want to block the green one? By doing a blue maneuver, I, I believe. That's interesting.
Allez, Quimper, on y croit. Eh oui, il faut, il faut, il faut. On soutient Steve, allez. <rire> ok, so just a bit less than 40 minutes. It seems like Steve is one dial away from being ready. Philip is ready. Both players are ready now. So, let us begin. Okay, so let's roll for FOs. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe Baroness is changing her plans. All right, all right. Okay, so are we ready? So four, five. We had five turns already, or did, or is this the fifth turn? I don't remember. This was pretty quick, although we had pretty quick games yesterday also. But okay, so two sloop four green, die. Two bank from blue, clearing one stress, is one stress away from being able to perform actions again. Two straight from red, two straight for yellow as well. And then this is up to Steve, hoping not to bump, I believe. Let's go. So yellow does a one bank, cannot fit a barrel to the left, and I believe Malarus could end up evading your arc. I mean, can you fit a barrel to the left actually? Okay, anyway, he's not trying to barrel. He is going straight boost to Malarus. Pink is doing a 5 straight. There again, you cannot perform a barrel roll. But you can take a focus, for sure. To bank from red. Probably a bank fine-tune controls boost to the right. There you go. And a focus. You won't be able to line up bullseye, but that's not it's 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 good. Green did go five straight and is directly pointing his bullseye to Malarus. So maybe you just focus here. So you have one defense one um modifier for defense against green and you already have bullseye lined up with uh, Malarus as she will be moving anyway uh, towards uh, yellow so it could be a too hard but anyway it will end up being in the bullseye I'm not okay so hmm, this is interesting not quite sure about that boost oh five straight from blue that is bumping on to red tie FO, which means no fine-tune control, no um, no no action, and then Von Reg is the one that you could be scared about in a, in about a minute. Oh, Von Reg chose to go to bank, which means Von Reg won't be a threat for this turn. So I believe if yellow isn't seeing the blue Azoth, right? Well, that is really good look. That is a really good looking turn for Steve. Because you have no shots except one from uh, Green Tie FO and, oh, and, and Malarus, of course. But um, you have one, two, three, maybe four shots onto Malarus. So you could end up taking the whole Malarus here. Five hole is not uh, so un uncommon, I believe. Okay, so Von Reg did a bear roll to the left with his ability. Took a strain for that, and we'll target lock. Blue, either sprite. Okay, so combat phase, engagement. Bonerick has no shot, obviously. Malarus only has one target available, which is Pink Jedi Knight. 
Hit crit, which is not bad with no rerolls or anything. And you have to spend at least the force, yeah. To take only one. This is a very lucky shot. Oh, thank you, Reach P, for, for the follow. Really appreciate. All right, so now this is everything from Steve going at Malarus, so it means three attack dice for this particular shot with one more on a focus face. So this will deal three damage after spending the focus and you definitely want to spend this. So this will be two coming at Malarus, which means, which means Malarus is on three and the crit is Weapons failure. Ah, oh, just just seconds ago would have been perfect though. <laughs> Weapons failure. There you go. Quelqu'un peut dire à Steve qu'il a plein de jetons focus dans un coin de la map. Uh, Steve, il est, il est très sale comme joueur. Voilà. Je tiens à le dire. Uh, ça me ça me ça me trigger là. Voilà. Je vous le dis comme je le pense. Hein. C'est c'est horrible. Il y a des dés partout. Il y a des il y a des il y a des focus partout. Par pitié, jamais je veux le rencontrer en physique. Hein. Voilà. Je vous le dis. Voilà. Vous en faites ce que vous voulez. So. Um, now this is, um, okay, so that's two coming from the red Jedi and two more onto Malarus. No, only one. What, what is the, uh, okay. What did they do? He only took one, so just one damage onto Malarus. There you go. Well, Malarus is sitting on two. And you've got the two that could kill her. One evade Malarus will take only one and survive. As well. Oh man. Not so good for Steve. Oh, but oh no, I am sorry. You've, you've got the last shot. Could be a very good shot. Could, you, you, you could have the shot that will kill Malarus. <laughs> And he's choosing Malorus, of course. Uh, rolling two again, which means you've got some pretty good rolls on this turn. And Malorus will die, blanking out. Blah, blah, blah. And the crit is a structural damage. I mean, why not? You're dead, so anyway. You've got some structural damage. Uh, structural dam... No, not stun pilot. Structural damage. There you go. Okay, so Malarus died, and this is the end of initiative 3, so Malarus is removed from the mat. There you go, this is happening right now. Um, okay, so you've got a range 3 abstracted onto someone that doesn't have any modifier, or you have a range 2 at someone that has some modifier. Okay, well, anyway, that did not hit. So... Oh man. Could he clear those focus? It is just triggering me <laughs> so hard. Um, anyway, so Steve took one damage from Malarus on Jedi Knight number pink, <laughs> if I would say. And Philip lost Commander Malarus. So it means Steve went from a, a losing situation with 7 points to a winning situation with 38 points ahead. Alright, so now, I mean, f for, for what I'm seeing right now, I don't know if uh, Philip was scared about some particular maneuver. I mean, the 2-bank with Von Reg was not that incoherent because you could have been blocked by the blue Jedi. Uh, and end up being uh, blocked by, um, uh, I mean, uh, attempting to, to do a one hard on Von Reg. But then, then in this situation, you are not shooting, but you had a correct choice. Because you could not be blocked uh, this way by doing the, the two bank he just did. But now the problem is blue is uh, probably willing to too hard to the right, but I'm not sure that fits 
due to vulnerable exposition. And then if it uh, ends up not clearing the maneuver, maybe the one hard of Von Reg might bump as well onto blue type FO. Uh, so now the question is with uh, the tie FOs, what do you do to uh, catch those Jedi? Because now pretty much everyone has to K turn or sloop. So as a reminder, it is a 4K turn or a 2 sloop for uh, tie FOs. And now with with uh, with Steve, how do you manage to keep your uh, advance in the game? What do you do with the Jedi? Do you stress them as you are uh, going to the uh, to the right of the board, or do you just one hard everyone or one banks or anything? We'll see what. Oh, uh, and it seems like Steve is ready. I mean, both players seem ready. Uh, no, Philip has the uh, blue FO to to dial in. And now we've got a bit less than 30 minutes. We will see what will happen. I believe Steve is in a good position right now. He's got Malarus dead, which is a very good thing. Now I'm not sure if you aim for Von Reg or if you just like try and wipe the uh, Thai FOs out of the board. I mean, Blue is in a. Blue is the one that you want to be killing because he's sitting on one hole left. Uh, and you could like remove one ship from the board, which is always a good thing. We are going to the next round. 4K with red. 4K with yellow. One hard from blue that stays stressed. And green is removing his stress with a two bank maneuver to the right. To the left, my bad. Picking a focus, and then it's Steve. Alright, so 5k for Jedi Yellow. Five K for pink as well. I believe we are seeing some five Ks. All the turn. One bank from red. Yeah, you can stay where you are because you've got the obstruction of the uh, gas cloud. Too hard from green. Probably spend, yeah, to boost. There you go, and take a focus. And blue is also doing a five 5k. Now the question is, will Von Reg have a shot on Blue? Blue is untouched right now, so... Not that dangerous, though Von Reg would have a target lock already. Yeah, there you go. One hard, clear the, um, the strain. You could... Uh, what could you do? How is the standing in the series? You can see that on the right side just above our our lord, uh, Baby Yoda. Uh, this is 5 to Serbia, 1 to France, which means the uh, round is already lost. But individual wins matter, so uh, Steve is fighting for one more individual win. And that will be only heard in 90 seconds. is always really fun to uh, consider. <laughs> All right, so uh, 
Oh no, actually, there is a delay of 180 seconds. Ah, what the? Okay, I missed. I missed play here. I must reduce the delay. But anyway, that won't change anything. Um, so this is Von Reg shooting at blue, I believe. Using the target log, there you go. It will be two if you spend the force, and you might as well do this. There you go. So blue is taking a shield. There you go. So we know now that blue is having a shot at Von Reg, possibly. But Von Reg has a focus, which means it's not probably hitting. Um. Uh, just a crit for a pink onto the uh, green tie FO. Just an evade. Getting just what you need. Okay, so obstructed at range 2, it seems. Or range 3 at. Von Reg, oh, just obstructed for the shot on the blue tie FO. Oh, that's that's rude. That is rude. Head crit. You've got four dice. No problem for first order. Now possible shots, you've got one on two green, one on two red. Red is already in danger. So you, so you probably want to aim at red, but it is obstructed at range three, I believe. So why only four? Uh, okay, anyway, that doesn't change anything. As it is easily evaded. Or maybe he chose green. I don't know. As as they are not pinging the the thing, I cannot. Oh, so who was it? And okay, so that was red onto red. And no damage, as you spend the force for two evades. Oh, and you've got the little guy, range three, and obstructed two v five. You've got one that will that will probably miss. Uh, yeah, okay, well, no chance you hit with this roll, and add the blank. Okay, so, again, 58 to 20, with 20 minutes remaining before going through the uh, next round. All right, so um, yeah, von Reg is in a probably not bad position, though he might be blocking two bank from uh, yellow, two bank left, uh, which could be a problem if yellow wants to go to catch uh, green Jedi. Um. <laughs> hmm. I mean, if you were Philip, what do you want to aim right now? Probably red. 
because by killing red you uh, remove a ship from the board which is always nice you remove one threat for uh, your uh, blue epsilon squadron cadet you also uh, remove one possible blocker for uh, von reg but the question is um, how does von reg end up having red in arc without too much of a, uh, a commit because uh, he could be in arc of green, yellow, pink, blue and this would be probably half point of front reg and trading half point, point of von reg against one hole for a Jedi Knight is not quite what you want at this point of the game and even more, with only 18 minutes remaining, it seems like everyone is ready except the guy, Von Reg. So, might be, might be the hardest decision for the turn for Philip, and that is completely understandable. All right, all right. So, on Rex still not dialed in. So you are one away from half on to blue and pink as well. The question remains the same, do you want to commit more than just Von Reg or... I mean, this could be a hard time for Philip. There is a... Uh, too, much, uh, too much of a commit. And Steve sees that coming. Okay, so uh, both um, yellow and red are doing two straight. Blue is finally clearing the panicked pilot stress and taking a focus with this too hard to the left. Now this is Steve's turn. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so three straight for the blue Jedi. Might just take a focus where you are. I mean, you can you can you escape? yellow's arc but anyway if you do you put yourself at range one of blue so yeah just take the focus and hope for the best i believe red is doing a five straight zooming in probably fine tune controls boost pink to the right yep taking a focus probably won't be seeing a red Then, pink, one banks, you have your bullseye lined up to green, which is always good. It is also lined up to red, although I believe this is a bit far. There you go, focus. Green, oh, green could spend the force to boost bank or just boost straight. I mean, I'm I'm not sure the bullseye is lined up currently to red. Okay, he's going to uh, uh, yellow, maybe? And then, speaking of which, yellow is doing a one bank, clearing the stress as well. He's got the bullseye on green. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, spending the force to fine-tune controls. What will it be? Boost or barrel roll? It will be a barrel roll to the left and a focus. So now the question is, 
What is one reg doing? Two straight, no, sorry, two bank, just ending up in the position f of the blue either sprite, which means it bumps onto yellow. Oh, maybe green Jedi actually boosted bank to catch Von Reg. If he would have done a one hard, maybe. Uh, easily evaded by the blue Jedi. No problem. And now this is Steve's turn. Okay, so what do you start with? Seems like it's going with blue. You might as well take a shot at Von Reg. I mean, I'm not quite sure about what I'm saying, but... It seems like he's doing it, yeah. Oh, that is a good roll for sure. So this is all three of them with a crit. Von Reg is evading two of them, taking a shield. There you go. Shield of Von Reg. With green and the range two shot, you could... You could get a half, although it's uh, pretty much not happening, but there you go, two dice, uh, two focus, so you can have both of them, and you've got half, really, really good for Steve right now, as he scored 27, uh, 28, 28 points. 86 to 20 now. Okay, so what is yellow aiming? Green is not in bullseye. Yellow is. Quite relevant in this situation. Because you could, I mean, take the focus of yellow away for the uh, attack on blue. Oh, he's aiming at Von Reg once again. Getting one this time. Von Reg with three dice. Uh, four, sorry. One plus one for the range. Alright. Nothing. Range 1 bullseye onto the green Epsilon Squadron Cadet. Which means 3 plus the automatic uh, focus, which you <laughs> might as well use with the, <laughs> the focus. Uh, getting all 3 in defense, but still taking a shield onto green. I believe Steve is a bit disappointed that the crit did not go through, but... That was a good shot in attack. That was a good defense. So now this is up to Philip to try and close the gap. 86 to 20 right now. 10 minutes away from the end of the game and of the round as well. So, two hits onto the pink Jedi. Is it pink? It was pink, and you just spend the force and evade the shot. So, range one from red, tie onto blue Jedi. Two hits. And you've got the focus. Might as well spend it right now for two evades. Now, yellow as also a shot at range 1. Hit and a crit. Might take some pain here. You are taking a crit onto blue, which means you half, you have half of blue and the crit is damaged sensor array. So you cannot fine tune control anymore. Damaged sensor array. Euh, bonsoir, c'est assez chaud, non Eh bien, écoute, euh, pour l'instant, ça va, ça se passe pas trop mal. Mais effectivement, ça pourrait, euh, ça pourrait vite se retourner. 
I have legal obligation to shout out the chat with whatever one rank is on stream. <laughs> uh, completely understandable. Okay. Um, anyway, this is the end of the round. 86 to 40 now with another half and a crit that is really painful for those Jedi as they cannot do more than focus, which means fine tune controls uh, is not available anymore. I mean, it won't, it won't be anyway for the next turn, although um, Blue Jedi is repairing because fine tune controls happens before you execute your, um, your, uh, your action step. So anyway, not available on next turn, which means Blue is probably going away, repairing, and hopefully not taking any shot. And then you've got pink, uh, yellow, green, and probably red that will come and try to probably block and kill Von Reg. Von Reg is living on two right now. You've got uh, blue tie all all um, already. Uh, no, not really. Sorry, uh, still on still on one. Um, red did a did take a shield, and both yellow and uh, red are still untouched. Oh le bordel, ouais oui, pire que moi. <laughs> That's gonna be you later have a good day. It's gonna be see you later have a good day. Ah oui oui, absolument, tout à fait. Absolument. Ok, so six minutes remaining for this game. Six minutes remaining. Seems like Steve is close to being ready. Philip as well. Alright, so Steve appears to be ready. We are one von reg away <laughs> from being ready on Philip's side. So the, the question is now what do you do with red no, sorry, um green Jedi because you want to be blocking von reg for sure, but you might end up being blocked yourself by uh, yellow and red tie FOs. What do you do with pink and yellow as well? Because you could be blocked by green tie FO as well. There are some there are some things happening on the next turn. 
We'll see who is calling the other guy better. So I believe this fire this um, next round will be the last one as it is already four minutes away from the end of the game. So they can take their time. All right, all right, so... Still uh, thinking, one reg seems to be okay, so now this is double checking. There you go. Okay, going to the last turn, I believe. There you go. Yellow with a one hard. Oh, aiming to kill probably red. So Steve might as well be going three bank and hope that red survives. Uh, red is doing a three straight that clears, which is amazingly close. Go, let, let me show you. Oh man, it cleared. Amazing. Okay, so you would guess blue did a five straight. Well, no. Blue actually did a 5k. This is a three bank from red. You can boost and put yourself behind the cloud and take a focus. So this way you are probably not taking any damage from yellow's shot. Blue is currently pretty safe where he is. Green is currently pretty safe where he is as well. Pink. Okay, so with pink, what do you do? You probably, yeah, bear roll to the far left. Try and keep the obstruction, but I believe you can't so just go on the front to maybe avoid range two but i don't know if you can though uh yellow what is yellow doing this is a tough decision spending a force Boosting straight, entering yellow's arc, and it might be problematic, but you are probably obstructed, though I'm not quite sure of that. And Varnreg is bumping onto the red, oh, I'm sorry, green, uh, the green uh, Jedi Knight. So Vonreg has multiple possible targets. Range 2 obstructed on yellow, range 3 unobstructed on pink. He will go to pink. And get two natural hits. Two natural evades. I'm not sure if the last one is a blank or an evade though, but you still evade the shot. Not Pink's half yet. Now, yellow doesn't have any arc. Pink doesn't have any arc. Red doesn't have any arc. Green. I think you take the shot at blue. Sure. You just take the shot at blue. I mean, yellow is with focus, untouched. If you kill blue, you take one less shot onto yellow, which is amazing, and 
you score points, which is also quite good. Okay, so three dice with nothing more than a force, but you can spend the force without consideration as you are not being shot this round and you've got three of them which is probably blue dying here and there you go there's a blank blue dies which is probably the game right now one less shot and uh, yeah one less shot that's he needed all the shots he could have this turn, but now you've got one less. This is probably the end. It is a range two onto Von Reg. Uh, I mean, you can spend the force to to hit with one, but I, I believe you're not touching anything. Yeah, and you are not killing Von Reg, so that that won't change anything. But why not? So now this is up to the Thai FOs to shoot, but I don't think you can. I mean, you you can still win. There's there's a there's a little possibility that Philip is winning the game, but it includes real high amount of chance for him on dice rolls. So this guy aiming is. Um, Stressed, so no modification. Who are you shooting to? Pink is one away from half. Green is untouched and you have no shot on him. Oh, I mean, of course he's out of force and everything, but... Okay, so that's two. Takes only one, so that won't be enough. On green, just a shield. Uh, he rolled one too many dice, so... Okay, so nothing at all then. There you go. Oh, the shot is unobstructed onto yellow. Yellow is untouched as a focus. Pink is range two. Okay, so he's shooting at yellow. And it will be only one. And it is evaded. Now you've got yellow. Is the shot obstructed? Yeah, it is on both of those Jedi. Okay, so this is the range one onto yellow. And this is going with three hits. In this situation, there is nothing that just... I mean, you could, you could end up losing half by blanking out. But you are not going to do so. You are just taking a critical damage, but it is a shield on uh, yellow. So this will end the game with the score of 98 to 40 points. Steve is winning this little game and... Uh, and you have the final score right here. This is 2 for France, 5 for Serbia. So GG to Team Serbia ending up winning the round. Um, yeah, that, 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 was, that was really well, really well played by them. Um, how does it feel to treat me like you do? That's a blue. <laughs> Good one, good one. Um, okay, well, this this will be the end of the game, end of the round, and yeah, end of the stream as well. So thank you everyone for following, participating. I'll just uh, I'll just give you the results of the bet. Uh, Steve won. GG to those who bet on Steve. There you go. Price is being paid.
GG to everyone, thank you very much and see you next time, uh, probably next week, for more stream uh, of the XTC 2021 and uh, wish you the best if you're playing in the XTC, best of luck for your remaining match or matches maybe, um, if you're a bit late uh, and for those who are just watching, take care and See you later.